uh, times 1 p.m. to 7 p.m. every day. 1 p.m. to 7 p.m. Oh. Yes. In it's the a nice work casual. In the, in the clinic. <laughs> is, that, is that how long you guys practice? Yes, teacher. From 1 to 7? <laughs> okay. <clears throat> That's a long time, let me tell you. That's a really, really long time. Yeah, I wouldn't keep, I wouldn't be able to keep up with you guys. That's yeah. a lot. But in my clinic, in my clinic, I work since 8 a.m. to 12 and a half every day. Oh, so you guys are, are, are talking about at Patricia's one, uh, Patricia's at 1 p.m. I suppose you have a, a lot of appointment every day in the morning. Uh, um, I don't have any appointment. The patients they leave, uh, come, come to the clinic, and yeah. uh, they just pass by order. They just come it, inside it, by order. It, yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Because Patricia, once I, again, um, sorry. What was your field once again? What? Your field or su, su campo, su especialidad? What was it again? Uh, I am gynecology. Oh, oh okay. My Me and my Gynecolo girlfriend were, were looking for one of those. So probably we're going to go to your clinic. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I have one right here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I, I remember. I was, I was trying to remember, but I wasn't totally sure. Mm -hmm. Ultrasonographic and colposcopics. Wow. wow. You, do, you have taken many courses. I think you have been studying for a long time, it seems. Yes. Yeah. Ah, yeah. So nice. Study. Very nice. All right. So welcome, people. Welcome to Friday. Um, I think Patricia is having her pupusas right now. Who else brought pupusas over? <laughs> Who else? I'm already finished. I can, I can make pupusas. I'm ready. Eight. You can make them? <laughs> I... I I learned to cook since the 11 years and uh, my mom uh, uh, teach, uh -huh. teach me, Ta taught, taught you teach, taught me to cook and uh, I make tortillas, uh -huh. pupusas, pasteles. <laughs> okay. Very nice. Meat, so... shrimps. Chicken, etc. <laughs> All right. Wow. So yeah, you learn to cook cool. from a very, very young age. It seems like. Okay. So very nice. Yeah, it's great that you guys, um, you know, get along well. I love that. I love to see that. I love to uh, <laughs> to join the class when you guys are sharing some of your experiences. That is just <clears throat> great. Um, in case you didn't know, of course, you guys can stay after I I'm gone. You can stay sometimes if you feel like practicing a little bit longer. You can do that, you know. That is something that I have advised some groups in the last couple of months, uh, that whenever they feel like practicing with the teams or with the rest of the class, if you want to 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 speak more, you can stay. Like, uh, the, the class is not going to close, I think. Or if not, you can only just rejoin. As you do before I join, you can rejoin and you can, like, you know, share for a little bit. Um, just in case you want, you know, for, for a later <laughs> occasion. But okay, uh, for this evening, I have a goal. And that goal is to finish at least with the conversation we have pending from yesterday and talking about suggestions. But before we get to that goal, I have a topic or, um, well, the question or questions for this evening are not going to be as regular. Have you guys ever been part of a trivia? Do you know what trivias are? No, maybe. It's like a question and the public have to answer. Exactly. Yes. There are different chances. Yes. You choose one. Exactly. Exactly. So it's like most people call it like common knowledge. You know, it's, it's like things that we are supposed to know or like almost everyone is supposed to know or like it's something that a lot of people at least know 
So tonight, I'm not going to be asking you for your plans for the weekend. I'm not going to be asking you for anything specific about you. I'm going to be, or I want us to play <laughs> a trivia. So if you feel like it, it will be a pleasure for me to have you um, playing, as I mentioned, on this trivia. And uh, hopefully you guys are willing to share some of your time with me doing this. So some of the questions are very simple but there are others that are going to be a little bit trickier. Now, I'm not going to be asking a straight up to one of you, like specifically, I just, I'm gonna throw the questions there and you guys answer as they come. Like if you feel like you know the answer, you can provide the answer. Esto está relacionado con una de las conversaciones que vamos a tener más adelante, creo que ustedes ya la revisaron, ¿verdad? La, la, la conversación en la cual eh, a una persona le están haciendo muchas preguntas acerca de la historia y así, y ninguna de esas respuestas están correctas. So that's what gave me the idea, you know, to try and play a trivia with you guys this evening. So, um, here we have the first question. The first question is, Area 51 is located in which U.S. state? Area 51 is located in which U.S. state? Any of you guys knows the answer to that question? Area 51, a very common mm -hmm. and very known place for people who believe in like aliens or space things and all that. What state is it located in? Las Vegas. Okay, Las Vegas is one of the main cities from that state. However, the state is Nevada. 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 Yes, well, Nevada. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But it is it is similar. You know, you can you can get yeah. a, a little bit tricky there. Yeah. But um yeah. Las Vegas is like one of the main cities, but Nevada will be yeah. the, the main Nevada, part. yeah. Yeah. Area 51 yeah. is located in Nevada. Okay. Um now the next one is which American president appears? Oh. Que de gracia. Donde puta quedó mi teléfono. <laughs> Hola, tú. Mm. 